top moment that you're requesting on your timeline. I'm DC Young Fly, and guest hosting with me is Vine legend and actress Arielle Vandenberg, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having me. Yes, and kicking it with our liveest audience around, that is Amy Fair. You know it. All right, now, let's start the show, y'all. You know what time it is. Now, first, she's a recording artist, and she's part of the MTV family. You done seen her on Ridiculousness, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Later, you'll see her perform her single Nobody for the first time ever on live TV. Clap it up for Chanel West Coast, y'all. <laughs> show for y'all today. Now, yep. you've seen our next guest on his hit show, Shameless, all right, and Gotham, where he creeped the hell out of people. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Welcome to the couch, Cameron Monaghan! <laughs> Chanel, you recently posted on IG declaring that you're going to run for president in 2020. Oh. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. No West Coast no. for president in uh -oh. 2020. <laughs> you know, I saw the red, white, and blue. I just got inspired. But what uh, I'm saying, though, if, if, what would be the first thing Chanel West Coast would do if you was to run for president? I would legalize marijuana in the whole country. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> I'm voting for you. Women can run this country. Yes, this they can. This is true. This is so true. <laughs> Women can run That's this country. That's a lot of us, probably. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Cameron, we saw on Instagram that you have gotten a lot of injuries while filming Gotham. Oh, yeah. What are they having you do? I mean, you know, this guy is crazy and he's constantly getting in a gunfight or a knife fight or something. Like, yeah. just the other day, I got stabbed in the hand. You can kind of oh, see perfect. there a little oh, bit. Oh, nice. Know? Very good. Yeah, Double I scar. ripped a hole through my glove and everything. Yeah, but you know, these are like scars. <laughs> scars are sexy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Girls like scars. scars. It makes you look like a badass. Yes. Yeah, true. Yeah, sure. I got a couple of scars, so that you know, my mine's for real, though. Bad, oh, okay. God, <laughs> God saved my life. But, you know, we God have a question for you, Cameron, and it's coming from Twitter, all right? Now, Amanda D. asked, now, what's the most embarrassing thing that have happened to you on the set of Gotham? Oh, well, speaking of getting stabbed in the hand, I don't know, it's like when you're, when you're on a set, like, people swear, like, sailors is just kind of what it is, mm -hmm. and, like, we had this group of, like, 100, 150 people of extras, and I was on the stage and everybody stabbed me in the hand, and just, like, at the top of my lungs, <laughs> I screamed the F word in front of everyone, completely broke character, and I just remember all, all the, all, everyone in the audience just like, oh, what's wrong with this? <laughs> I don't think they understood. So they just thought I was like screaming at crew members or something, you know? <laughs> so just not knowing that you just got stabbed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just blaming. <blatant. laughs> All right. Well, today, Chanel West Coast is here to fulfill your request. All day, you've been tweeting us things for her to do, and it is down to these two. Uh oh, okay. now, Willie yeah. Prescott wants you to sing the national anthem like Fergie. <laughs> and John Stark wants you to skateboard around the studio. Now, it's time to vote in today. Now, hashtag battle. Now, hit us at TRL and decide by using either the hashtag Chanel Shred or the hashtag Chanel Fit. The poll will be updating live throughout the show, y'all. Yes, but now it's time to start our daily countdown. Kicking it off at number three is Beyonce's secret Snapchat account. Yes. It's been rumored for a while, but there's an IG post of her and Blue Ivy using the Snapchat exclusive fire emoji filter, and it's really making us suspicious. Now, we're getting closer to figuring out her username, y'all. I don't know what it is. Do you guys have a secret Snap or a secret Instagram or anything like that? Nope. No? No secret accounts. I'm like, I if I want to lurk, I'm going to just follow you and yeah. let you know I'm here to lurk. That's it. Uh-oh. This uh -oh. is where, like, I want to just tell you guys that I'm Daquan. <laughs> <laughs> I now, honestly, like, want people to think that's so bad, but that's never gonna happen. <laughs> that's crazy. But now, you know now, Chanel, I mean? now, now, speaking of lurking, I went to go do some lurking myself. Now, initially, Snoop Dogg, my OG, yeah. you know, he was, he was, you know, talking about your musical talent, but you two end up collaborating. Now, how did that go down? Man. Well, obviously, you know, it's the 
the West Coast connection, and uh -huh. we both share a love for what he's doing in that picture. Most definitely. But um, it actually is funny. We got into a little argument when I first met him. Uh-huh. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I like to speak my mind, and I'm very blunt, and I spoke my mind, and we got into an argument, and I had to get carried out of the studio. What? This oh. is real. And after that, he kind of was like, we met each other at a party after that, and he came up to me, he was like, you know what? He's like, you a crazy little white girl. <laughs> but I <laughs> and so, so yeah, so then, so then we ended up doing a song together after that. It's like a really crazy. That, that's amazing. Shout yeah. yeah. out to the OG, man. Yeah. So Cameron, uh, Jerome on Gotham is similar to the Joker in many ways, and people that have played the Joker in the past, you know, they they've been consumed by the role. Has that happened to you in your life at all, or? No, I mean, you separate obviously work yeah. from not. When I'm working on the show, that's just all I'm doing, I don't yeah. like, I just kind of stay in character and that's just what I'm gonna be doing mm -hmm. for a few months, you know? Uh, so, I mean, to a certain extent, like, I remember like people tell me stories like, I, I come back, I don't really remember it, and I'm like laughing like him or something like that, yeah. but <laughs> in general, I think I'm pretty... They're like, uh... Yeah. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also because I'm getting to play this character, so I'm just laughing my ass off because well, it's awesome. Live it so up. can we? So yeah. can we? Can we get like a little joke laugh? Can yeah. We, if someone uh, was to break out a joke, like ah, but you ugly. I don't know. Give, us, give us a mind. little Joker thing. I might a make little people Jerome. Watch. Give a us little, a little Jerome. Well, it's a little bit of both there. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Hold up, now come on. I like just that. A little tease. I'm scared actually. Don't do it. Yeah. Just a little tease. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is. Oh. Yeah. for you from my live audience, okay? Amy, what's going on, baby? Yes, we do. I'm here with Amnique, and what is, was your question for Chanel? Hi, Chanel. So, Hi. um, you were on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood this season. Yes. So, what did you think of Safari's recent leaks? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Why? Why, no. girl? Why? Oops. <laughs> I think more power to him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I did not go and actually look at them. Well, they were in the popular page, so I couldn't avoid them. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think, you know, more, more power to him. Uh-oh. Oh, all right. All right. Now it's time to see what's popping on MTV. Now, the message is don't stop, y'all, on Catfish tonight. Neve and Max help out Infinity, who hasn't met her online bait of two years, even though they live in the same city. Yes! Are they gonna ever meet? No! Find out <laughs> on Catfish tonight and only on MTV. That is crazy. <laughs> and right now, we're gonna take a break, but before she takes the stage, Chanel addresses her haters, uh -oh. including one godly radio host. Club. Stick around to find out. 